Hi, I'm Phil Constantine. This is Travels with Phil. We're going to be looking at some of the other Cherokee sites in North Carolina that I didn't cover in individual videos. This will include Cherokee, North Carolina, the Museum of the Cherokee Nation, the Okona Lufti Indian Village, the Kitawa Mound, and the Nikwasi Mound. And starting off here in the town of Cherokee, North Carolina on the Kuala Boundary. This is a, a small, you can't really call it a reservation, but where it's the eastern band of Cherokee Indians resides. It's a, a land trust area, but it's it, right equivalent of a reservation. The one feather, the Cherokee one feather uh, publication, I like how a lot of the traffic signs uh, also have the uh, characters written in Cherokee itself. Very, very pretty area here in the uh, Blue Ridge. Uh, here's a video from one of their local rivers. All right, I'm at the Yogi and the Smokies campground just uh, toward the mountains from the uh, Cherokee uh, Reservation, Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians Reservation. And this is the river that uh, runs through it. I don't see Brad Pitt anywhere, but there were a lot of people fishing out here. It's a nice sound. I like it. And this is me by the river. All right, lots of bears around town. Uh, there's uh, the uh, Mingo Falls, which is out here, means a, a bear. And you can see all kinds of different uh, signposts, the Kuala Boundary, which is uh, where the quote-unquote reservation is located. Now, the next place I went to is the Museum of the Cherokee Indian, operated by the tribe. And uh, this is a very, very nice museum. A uh, lot has lots of things inside. This is a picture of the outside of it. And speaking of the outside, I'll show you a video of the outside. And outside the Museum of the Cherokee Indian here in uh, Kuala, the eastern band of Cherokee Indians. Very nice setting out here. A lot of glare, though, on the phone, so it's hard for me to tell exactly what I'm pointing at. But a very nice museum on the inside in Cherokee, North Carolina. All right, let's go inside. Uh, they welcome you inside, and here's another video from inside. Part two, Cherokee Museum, Eastern Band. This is a display for the five civilized tribes and their section about the uh, Trail of Tears, Chickasaw, Creeks, Muskogee, Cherokee, Jalagi, Choctaw, and Seminoles. Oops. And lots and lots of stories, the Cherokee traditional stories, you'll see them uh, told here. You can always uh, pause on these to look at them or go to my website, travelswithphil.com, and go to uh, North Carolina and see the individual uh, photos there. Now, let's go inside. Uh, this uh, uh, ancient village, uh, which I did a video for, is called Etowah, uh, and it's, it's spelled like it's Etowa. So you'll see both pronunciations. Next to the towns, you see the summer towns, which was recently constructed. Now this is Itua. The voice you heard in the background was talking about something else. It's inside the uh, Cherokee Eastern Band uh, Museum in Cherokee, North Carolina. Travels with Phil, still in the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians Tribal Museum. Lots of stuff in here. Slowly going through some of them on this. You can always hit pause. Try to look at some of the material here. 18th century overhill pottery. Man killer. Honorary title. Women's clothing. Men's clothing. And the long ears. Oh, the copper pieces are. From Teleco, where I was at the other day. What's left of it. 
And you can see the Teleclo blockhouse in the Tennessee section. This is the village. And that's a mastodon uh, vertebrae. So you can see all these kinds of things. Uh, this, this particular stone, they don't know if it's a hoax or what, but uh, there's all kinds of, uh, <laughs> let's just put it this way, Cherokees can be a bit contentious. Uh, some folks say, oh, this is absolutely the truth. Other folks say, I oh, know it's never been that way. So you'll see sometimes stories that say one thing about uh, one uh, person or event, and then you'll see another story that's the exact opposite. So that does happen uh, from time to time. And uh, as you look, these are gorgets. These are things that were tied by strings around your neck. Some very old, old designs here. Uh, they almost look uh, uh, Mexican or uh, Mesoamerican. Uh, some of the designs and some of the nice pottery out here, baskets uh, that were done. A very, very nice collection uh, there. And now some of these are very, very old. Some of these are uh, newer. Uh, as far as the entire museum is concerned, they do have some newer uh, designs and artwork in here. Some folks uh, do new things that are in the old styles and uh, all kinds of stories. Uh, these are leggings or rattles, uh, the uh, turtle shells with rocks in them that make noise, the chunky stones, which is a game that the uh, Cherokees would play, and uh, copper things that came all the way up from the Great Lakes. So there was a tr lot of trade going on amongst the uh, Indian tribes. This is one of the uh, three tribes that went to uh, England in the 1700s, and uh, just all kinds of stories about different people out here. Nancy Ward, which I've gotten a different uh, video. And in fact, here they say Nancy Ward's uh, was the uh, niece of uh, Atakula Kula. Other folks say, oh, no, no, she wasn't. So that's one of those contentions where people disagree about uh, historical facts. Uh, Cherokee designs, uh, clothing, uh, equipment here. Cherokees involved in the uh, Civil War. And uh, these are some old photos of Cherokees living here in the Cherokee, uh, North Carolina area. Booger mask. Uh, I like booger masks. Those are sort of fun. And they were some folks say they were comical, some folks say they were very serious, some folks say they were both. But uh, some very interesting designs. And some po things could have to do just, well, in our family, we did it this way. In your family, they may have done it somewhere else. And a panther there, or an Indian. And uh, Alexander, the Scots, uh, Alexander Cummings came through here. He's the one that got the Cherokees to, or some of the Cherokees to say that uh, Britain was their supreme ruler and helped uh, get them to uh, support Britain when they uh, initially started. That's a gorget. And so the outside, just some pretty flowers out there as well. Now the Okono Lufti, my pronunciation may be totally wrong. I've never said anything good about my pronunciation. But uh, this is uh, the Indian village where they do recreations. All right, we're at the square. This would be my clan. Mm -hmm. And then they have sections here for each of the seven clans. It's a very large setup here, it's very nice. Cherokees didn't normally the uh, they have here. talk about their clans to people outside of the area. It wasn't something you normally talked about. Hey, sir, that's how you water your plants. Uh, they had demonstrations throughout the area here. Uh, folks who were doing, uh, you know, weaving. Uh, this is one of the weaving things, making uh, belts of a sort or sashes, as it were. And uh, you can see all kinds of beading going on. And so these are actual uh, members of the Cherokee uh, tribe here, the Eastern Band of uh, Cherokee Indians. Uh, that uh, are demonstrating pottery work, how they did it. Uh, this is commonly called a wedding um, vase. And uh, woodworking here, the, he's, he's scraping off a reed. They do a lot of work, a Cherokee uh, traditionally do a lot of work with uh, river cane and reeds. And the scrapers, markers, more booger masks out here, bowls, uh, how you poke holes or drill holes and things using old tools. And uh, weaving baskets here, uh, it's just it's interesting. I've done several baskets. Those are uh, interesting to make. Uh, it's more fun to do it if you didn't have to do it. All kinds of uh, uh, birds, small animals, traps for a, a variety of sized animals here. And that would be almost a bear size. 
and uh, so it's uh, it's an interesting place to learn about some of the traditional ways of doing things in Cherokees. Now the Eastern Band has a slightly different dialect from the Western Band of Cherokees. Uh, there's Eastern Cherokee and there's Western. There's some similarities. Uh, you can equate them to say Portuguese and Spanish where one might be able to understand the other but they're not exactly the same. I know a couple of words I was, uh, was saying, I don't speak Cherokee very well, but a couple of things I was saying there turned out to be having a different interpretation of the way I was taught they were based on the Western dialect. And uh, so, uh, you know, it's, it's probably better just to ask questions and not try to show off if you think you know the language, which I don't. And so I basically I was saying uh, thank you, and it turns out I was saying you're welcome uh, because our dialects are different. And uh, so back on this course, this is one of the inside uh, council houses kinds of setups, uh, different sections for the different clans. And then going over to Kitawa Mound, uh, this is, would be the mother city for the Cherokees according to some. Uh, there's not really much of the uh, mound itself left. Uh, they've done a lot of plowing out here over the uh, years, uh, but it, uh, this was the site of one of the major uh, cities uh, here in this particular part of uh, North Carolina in the lower Appalachia. Some pretty flowers out there, nice area. And again, this is where the mound was at. And again, you know, plowing is uh, modern day farmers. Nikwasi is an interesting mound. Uh, let's go to the video. Continuing on with the travels with Phil, this is uh, in the middle of Franklin, uh, North Carolina. This is Nikwasi. It's an old mound, according to the sign. It says, marks the site of an old Cherokee town, Nikwasi. A council with Sir Alexander coming with the Indians here led to the treaty in 1750, or led to the 1750 treaty. And I'm just really surprised that uh, I thought Google uh, Maps was leading me astray because this is right in the middle of town. I mean, literally, right in the middle of town. So you never know what's going to grow up around an old Cherokee town. They must have picked good spots. So this is Nick Wasi in Franklin, North Carolina. And this is one of the spots where uh, Alexander Cumming came through, a British uh, explorer, diplomat, and uh, again uh, got the Cherokees uh, to come over to England to meet the king and sort of declared him their supreme ruler. Uh, some controversy about that as well. Uh, so these are just some of the spots uh, Cherokee related in the uh, state of North Carolina that I didn't do individual videos for. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please feel free to leave comments down below as long as the language is family friendly. And if you would like to subscribe to my channel, just click on the button over on the right hand side. Thank you very much.